Now the first app that you're going to need is called the Motor Secure Positioning app. You can find this on the Google Play Store if you're using an Android. If you're using an iPhone or an iOS, you can find this in the equivalent app store. The second app that you're going to need is called the Motors Connect and Drive. So this is also available on the Google Play Store. And as you can see, all these apps are very, very light in terms of size. So it installed pretty quickly. I didn't even do this over my, my wireless. I did all this using my mobile data. Now open the Motor Secure Provisioning app that you installed. Now when this is opened, you need to select provision new device, which you can see in the bottom down there. Now in order to provision the new device, you need to give them the motor secure provisioning app access to your camera technically because you need to give it access to take videos or photos because here you would have to scan the qr code that is provided to your device and in order to do this obviously you need to give the app access to your camera now this is where i'm a bit disappointed in the whole chain team because i think in my opinion the qr code could just be glued to the device right like with my autopilot with my macron the qr code was just on the side of the device that you could you could scan it in this case the qr code is not on the device the qr code is inside the box so make sure you do not travel with your box because if you travel with your box you technically could not could not um, register the device i got a bit frustrated because i thought somehow that my device came without a qr code later did i know that the qr code is not on the device but the qr code is on or inside the box now i'm going to pause a bit here to explain a bit more in details now the motors mini does not have any access to internet on its own it does not have any access to data transfer on its own so for instance the demo macron technically sends data through the helium network now the demo autopi also has a sim card in it that is responsible for that or that takes care of the internet connectivity now in terms of the motors mini which is also on the same price um, level as the demo macron right but it does not have any access or it does not have any capacity or any possibility to send data so it relies entirely on the internet access that you provide through it through a hotspot so in my case i created a hotspot with my phone that a device can connect to it once you set your hotspot in the next stage you're going to select which wi-fi network that a motors mini should connect to so here you just go through the the list of wi-fi networks that you have and then you select the one that you created and you put in the password and then you just click on provision the motors mini is now going to connect to the internet through the hotspot that you provided to it so in this stage you need to get all the three check marks here done before you could proceed so when all these are checked now you just need to click on OK to go to the next step. If the Motors Mini is now connected to the internet, you need to open the Motors Connect and Drive app. And then here you need to connect to your wallet. So if you already have a wallet, click Import Existing Account. If you do not have a wallet already, just click on Create an Account. If you already do not have a wallet, the app is going to guide you through the creation of a new wallet. So here you just have to make sure that you keep and secure your 24 um, secret word phrase that you'll be given. After you have written all these down, you're going to have to re-enter all these 24 words to verify that you have the, the words saved and secured in the right order. So here it's very important that you have this in the right order. If everything is correct, then you could just click verify. After verification of your wallet, the app brings you to the dashboard where you just have to click register new device. In the next step, you're going to be welcome to Motors Mini and here you just have to click next, um, next, next, next to the whole steps to, to connect the card. It's going to give you a few cautions to make sure that the phone is connected to the Motors Mini. The Motors Mini is connected to your car and here you're going to do the registration checks. What I found a bit funny is that in the first stage, I was a bit worried because it said verifying balance. Your balance is less than 0 0.1, 0.01, but somehow I just left it and the whole process went through to the end where I could see all the three steps spin green next stage you need to click on register motor so here it's going to load your wallet and then you need to give the app access to your location now make sure you do not choose that the location should be allowed only while using the app you need to click that the location should be allowed all the time in order for this to function correctly now when this is done you basically almost do you just have to wait for the two checkbox here to be green and then you are done with your motors registration enjoy your time with the motors mini and see you in the next one